Hi, in this video we'll be going through how to migrate a static cPanel based website over to SiteGround. My name's Dan and this is WP Update. Thanks for joining us. So during this tutorial we're going to be going through a very specific type of migration. We'll be looking at migrating from a cPanel based server. Our website is 100% static, so straight up HTML in our case. This will also work for straight PHP files as long as there's no database attached. The hosting has no email accounts associated with it, and the domain is managed or registered with a third party service. In order to get started, we'll need a credit card to set up the SiteGround hosting. We'll need an email account to provide SiteGround so they can communicate with us and also to confirm our account. You'll need the current cPanel host's login credentials and of course, you'll need login credentials for the domain registrar. So let's get started by heading over to bit.ly slash website hyphen hosting hyphen setup. There's a link in the description below and also in the top comment. So once you've navigated to the link, you should end up on a page that looks something similar to this one. Now, don't worry about the fact that it says WordPress hosting. This is a general hosting service. They deal with HTML files and PHP files very, very happily. For most services or most websites, if you're just migrating a single static HTML or static PHP website, and it's just the one, you will just need the startup. We're going to be adding a little bit more to it. So we'll be using the Grow Big but the same steps apply. So when you're ready, click on the big orange button, select, I already have a domain, and let's just zoom in a little bit to make it easy to see, and then enter the name of the website or the domain you're going to be migrating. Forgive the mechanical keyboard. Click on proceed. It'll have a bit of a think, and then enter in your personal details or the details of the company you're migrating on behalf of. Few moments later. Excellent, and that's all done. Uh, select your plan, just confirm that that's the same one you're expecting from the previous screen. We're setting up a 12 month because that's just cheaper. And you'll notice the price here is in pounds. Of course, I'm in the United Kingdom. It will be different depending on which territory you're in. We don't need to worry about the SG Site Scanner. That's a service for WordPress, and we're not going to be worrying about that at all. So just confirm that the information there is correct, the total is correct, and then check the first box, which is I've confirmed that I've read and agreed to the SiteGround TOS and privacy policy, of course, ensuring that you have read those two, and I've read them a number of times, so no need to worry there. And if you'd like to receive more information from SiteGround, you can check on this one as well. I already receive a, receive a newsletter, so nothing to worry about there. Click on Pay Now. That'll have a bit of a think. You can see here down the bottom, it's ticking along quite nicely. And there we go. So that has been created, and now we can proceed to the customer area. Accept any cookies, you will need them all enabled. And this is our first landing page. So the next thing we need to do is set up a site. So click on the big orange button. And despite what it's asking here, we just need to click start new website. And this is going to be other. And then Click on skip and create empty site. We'll skip the upsell again. We don't need to worry about that one. And then click finish. That'll just take a few moments to get through. Great. And that's done. Now, the next thing we'll need to do is you'll notice here we've got point your domain. So we need to take note of those name servers. So I'll just bring up a little notepad here, which we'll need a bit later. So copy that. Paste. And then copy that again. And we'll need those a little bit later, so we'll put those aside. All right, once you've uh, noted those, click on Manage Site. Brilliant. That's ready to go. So let's just zoom in so that you can see what's going on here. And that's all we need to do to prep SiteGround just for the moment. 
The next thing we'll need to do, to do is go and grab our source files. So open a new tab and navigate to the C panel for the site we're migrating from. So that's normally HTTPS cpanel dot and then your domain and then hit enter. All right, and that should forward you through. If it's not got the right certificate, that's okay. As long as you are 100% confident you have entered the correct address, you're fine. If that's the case, click on advanced and then proceed. Enter your cPanel username and of course the password. Okay, and then you may have a few different things here, but we're looking for file manager. So normally it's top left. You can click there or you can search up the top here or you can search in here. So let's just zoom in, click on file manager. There we go. And in our case, this is a very, very simple static one file site. So no hassles there. This will also work, like I said, for a multi-page site, multi, -site, uh, multi -page HTML static site or something with PHP or SHTML. Click on public underscore HTML. And then whatever you have in here, click select all, uncheck well-known and CGI bin. Then we want to zip this up. So we look for the compress option there, click compress. We want to select zip archive, and then we'll scroll down to, just call it whatever you like there. I'm calling it migration.zip, and then compress those files. That will give you a quick summary once that's done. And because this is a small site, it only took half a second, but it can take some time. If you, your site is over a gig, you may have to go via FC, FTP instead. All right, so once that's done, click on the file and then click download. You can see there, that's coming down now. That won't take too long, it's only about 10 meg for this one. We are on ADSL instead of fiber, so it's not too bad. Great, and then once you've done that, delete the zip file so no one else can download it that easily. So just delete and then confirm. Great, so now we can close out of that one, we can close out of that one, and we're back to SiteGround. So let's just zoom in a touch. And we want to go to, I think it's Site. There we go, and then File Manager. And we can see here, we now already have the public HTML in place. And what we want to do is click on that on the left. We'll delete the default, so just trash that. Excellent. And then let's see if we can drag and drop. There we go. Drag the zip file up. So again, we're inside the public HTML folder. Excellent. And that's ready to go. Now we can click on the zip file and decompress it. And I think right click and then extract. There we go. That's done. Now you'll notice it has popped it inside the migration folder. That's okay. Just click on that on the left hand side. Uh, we want to select everything. So that's just off. Just left click that holding shift down on the keyboard and that's all of them and then drag them into the root folder there. And that's done. So we can see now we have all of the files that we had over there before. We will delete the migration.zip file. Confirm that. We can delete the migration folder and confirm that. All right, and that's done. Great, so that is now ready to go. We can see there we've got the index.html uh, and then the rest of that is as it was on the other server. So now we can repoint this server. So what you'll need to do next is go to your domain registrar. Now, again, this is only if you have a static site with static HTML and PHP files and no email accounts and no other services attached. If you do this, 
with other services attached, especially email, you can break things. So be very, very clear with either your setup or your clients to make sure that you're not going to make anything falling up, fall over by changing the records we're about to change. So head to your domain name registrar. In our case, this is TPP Wholesale. And then log in. We are logging into a reseller service here, uh, which means that we have access to quite a number of domains. So just make sure that you're playing with the right one. And this will be different depending on the registrar that you're using. All right, so once you have your domain ready to go, we need to update the name service. Now, this is different for different providers. Uh, crazy domains, of course, are quite different. Uh, Two cows, TPP Wholesale, and there are dozens of others. I'll leave some links in the description below for tutorials on some of the more common ones. So in our case, we want to update name service, and then we want to re-delegate this one. So Going back to the name servers that SiteGround gave us before, we just want to copy that and then paste that into DNS1 and then paste that into DNS2. Enter an email address. Which is where you'll get your domain updates and then hit delegate domains or rename or repoint or whatever it needs to be there. You should get some kind of confirmation. And then hopefully, if that's worked correctly, we'll see a redelegation to the new website in a few hours. It typically takes between one and four hours for the, prop, uh, for the delegation to propagate and for us to be looking at the new hosting service. Later that same evening. Great. So it's been a few hours. So let's go and confirm that the DNS is working, the updates have worked and then see about installing a security certificate. So what we're going to use is the command prompt on Windows, so that's just CMD, or if you're on a Mac or Linux uh, machine, terminal will work just as well. So what we want to do is type in ping, and then the name of the website or the domain, and then hit enter. And if this has worked, this IP, will match this IP and we can see there, they're both the same. So that means the propagation has worked. Exit out of that one. And now that's done. The next thing to do, if your site previously had a security certificate on it, we'll need to install one of those. So click on security, SSL manager, and we'll have a bit of a think. And then once we're there, We've only got the one domain, so that's fine. Click Let's Encrypt, and then hit Get. Don't be afraid if this takes a few moments. It's doing a fair bit of work in the background there. Well, it took a few moments, but it's now up and running. We can see there the SSL certificate is now active, so that means if someone visits the HTTPS version of our site, they're all nice and secure or at least their connection is. Now to confirm that's working, we can open a new tab, go to HTTPS, and then the name of our domain. And that's working precisely as expected. So thank you very much for hanging around to the end. I hope this has been helpful, and if it has, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification button, and leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps us out. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'm always floating around the place and I'm more than happy to help where I can. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.